made Friday Night Funkin' in um, Minecraft. I mean, I mean, not Minecraft. I mean, uh, you know, um, Super Mario Maker 2. I just played too much game. I went into the support, made it vertical, and started testing this brick shell mint bob on design. Where if you missed any of the bricks, the bob on exploded and you fell onto the spike. I copied this design over so both players could be given the same level at the same time. What I wanted was for the winning player to be given okay. it so they could go through the Kegel in glorious victory. The first thing I tried was to add a key to the bob on underneath each of the players. So that when one player fails, the bomb explodes and the key passes to the other player. The problem with this design is that the player doesn't instantly die. It takes at least five seconds for the losing player to die. Then it takes forever while the key's in the bubble to reach the winning player. During this time, the winning player could die, and then there'd be no winner. It worked! The second try was to add keys to Goombas that get crushed by brick if the player misses. The mist bricks drop onto another track that leads to the key Goombas that is closer to the opposite player. I thought this would work better because the crushed Goombas okay. constantly give a key to the closest player as in the wrist, um, but the bricks move incredibly slowly. It okay. And the other player dying for the Goomba to get crushed. So I added wings to the bricks, which worked slightly better. I decided to switch to the Super Mario Bros game style to avoid cheese with the shell moves. But I had one big issue. The bricks pushed the player around, making it not fun to play. To counter this, I replaced the bricks with wing potaboos. And to make the potaboos feel at home, I changed the course theme to castle. Another big issue is the sprite limit. In Mario Maker 2, you can only have 100 enemies or items in each subworld. If you saw my previous video on making Friday Night Funkin in Mario Maker 2, you saw that I split the project into three different parts. Yes, I watched this before. To making everything work. However, but this is two players. Four players needed to use four times the amount of sprites. There was simply not enough room in this stage for this amount of sprites. The first one was the troll, but this one's like a little level. For player. I made a boom where the two winners go to that activates a key switch when two players hit their question mark blocks. Above the room, I added a timer that activates a key switch in case only one player makes it to this point. Finally, I got the last room using pretty much the same contraption as the first game, except I replaced the bob on with frozen coins. I added a winner's room and a loser's room by the flag and a 50 coin clear condition that the winner gets. That was pretty much it, the level was ready to be tested. So I called upon my friends Smashy, Aristotle and Manawi to play the level with me. Go subscribe to them, but also subscribe to me if you've enjoyed this video so far. It really helps me out a certain thanks. I'm Luigi, so it doesn't matter which fight you choose. Yeah. It's like a 2v2 level where you have to outlive the other player. So I'm against Mario at the moment. Oh no. Oh no. Who's Toadette? I'm Toadette. <laughs> Try getting the key door as soon as possible. So as soon okay. as the other player dies, you want to get in the key door. Yeah, you just want to hit every single lava bubble. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's just one block of ice. Oh, now it's me. Oh. Yes. 
Yeah, it's still there. I'll untow that. But I think you cheesed it by getting a key. Yeah, we did. Because Arrow was first, and I ate that one too. So. Yeah, he's really after I went through. Uh, I'm sorry. Just have to cheat. Just have to cheat. Oh, yeah, you just win. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cheater. Get him out of here. I got the goal though. I fixed this in the level I posted by putting only one bob on with a key and replacing the floor with frozen coins. I also added a backup mechanism that if both players beat it, one random player will be given a key. Even if everyone loses, There's five minutes into the video. The coin this has been a long minute. I don't have it even spoke a word. It's just quite a long time. It's like a minute. Uh, I'll just take you, Smashy. I feel like you're fast. Six. He's stealing my idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna it faster. I'm also recording on Okay, get Yes. Wait, does no one have two keys this time? No. <laughs> it worked for once. Is that me versus Smashy? Yes. I bet I win. For all the marbles. <laughs> Am I Toadette or Luigi? I'm Toadette. Yeah, I was also wondering. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've tested a lot of this in single player, so I don't I don't know how well it work will work in multiplayer. But, like, yeah. So I even back in the war from the beginning and I just got crushed by that little flag, but it's good. If you want to play this level with your friends, the level code will be on the screen now. Also, go subscribe to Smashy Aristotle and Minawi and myself. Link in the description. In conclusion, go like and subscribe. To the okay. That's it. Oh, that took seven minutes.